So now that we have your Halo 3 Mod Tools folder set up, it's time to learn how the Halo engine is structured and what tools we have to work with. The Halo engine isn't exactly built like Unity or Unreal Engine, but once you get the hang of it, you can start seeing similarities between the engine and modern engines. You'll first notice that when we extracted our tools from the previous video, we had a massive folder titled Tags that needed to be extracted. A key component of the Halo engine is the tags. Tags are the resources which represent all assets and entities in the game. While most of the core game mechanics are implemented in the core of the game engine itself, nearly everything else is customized using tags. There are many different types of tags, each with their own predefined structures and data fields. The great thing about tags though is that they're reusable between maps. For example, if I alter the Assault Rifle Weapon tag, that change will be reflected in all the maps that I compile afterward. This is just like how Unity has its prefab system, and how Unreal Engine has its blueprint classes. The tag path of your mods is very important. A tag path is like a URL for a tag. You can see here that my Assault Rifle mod for Halo 3 is stored in this directory. It is also good practice to have your own mod folder with your name or whatever the mod title is. This way, in the future when we share our tags with other creators, it can be easily dragged and dropped into your own folders. But hang on, we have another folder that's very important besides the tags folder. When we extracted folders in the last video, there was another folder titled data. Now the Halo engine does not support drag and drop formats that we're used to with other modern game engines. I can't simply drop an FBX model into the tags folder. This is where the data folder comes into play. Think of the data folder as the raw source assets for your mods. These are the assets which have not yet been converted into a tag format to be readable for the engine. Just like before with a tag folder, you need to follow the same tag path structure in your data folders. If I want to have my assault rifle mod in this directory, then I need to have the same directory in my data folder. Doing so allows Tool to compile the tags in the right directory. When the custom content tutorials come out in the future, I will be going more in depth with how models and texture data gets converted into tags. So now that we've learned what the data and tag folders represent, it's time to go over the tools provided to us with the Halo 3 editing kit. First, we have Gorilla. Gorilla is the visual tag editor. It is primarily focused on editing and viewing the structured fields which comprise tags. It does not offer in-game previews or interactive placement of objects. Next, we have Tool. Tool is a command line tool focused primarily on calculating and converting file types into readable data for the engine. It is also responsible for compiling light maps and the .map file itself. However, with the GUI launcher you downloaded from the last episode, we don't need to open Tool as much, since this program can run the commands for you. Another program included with the editing kit is Halo 3 Tag Test. This is a standalone build of Halo 3 that allows content creators to debug their maps on the fly. Rather than compiling the whole map file on the level, this build of the game can read the tag data directly from the tags folder and load it instantly. It allows for faster iteration and debugging of user-created content. And finally, we have Sapien. Sapien is the visual editor. It is very familiar to other game engine's toolkits. It allows the user to open levels and edit how certain things are placed within a level, as well as scripting scenarios and visual debugging. Sapien shares some systems with Halo 3 itself, including its AI system to support interactive AI scripting and debugging. You can also switch to player mode to interact with the simulation in real time. Congratulations, you now have the basic understanding of how the Halo engine works and what the tools provided are used for. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified when the next tutorial comes out. In the next tutorial, we are finally going to cover how to import a custom model asset into Halo 3.